Hi, good afternoon, uh, everybody. Um, I want to I want to introduce myself. My name is uh, James O'Farrell. Uh, I'm an account manager uh, at Solid Experts, and I'm with my colleague uh, Benoit Bilodeau, that's in charge of our data management uh, department, uh, essentially. And uh, today we're going to talk about a a new uh, well a solution that. Uh, that uh, is going to cover data management, but it's going to go beyond that. It's going to be a life cycle within a company. So uh, uh, SolidWorks uh, Manage is kind of a, I guess you could say, is a cushion between uh, SolidWorks and an ERP system. Uh, so you'll be able to uh, do a bit of uh, product management process, uh, not pro data management, project management, process management which is something that uh, Benoit is going to touch uh, base on throughout this presentation. So um, we, uh, we appreciate you attending today and uh, we're going to get right into the nitty gritty. If you have any questions, uh, we have a chat. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to look at your questions and then afterwards we're going to do a, a Q&A at the end of the presentation uh, to answer uh, whether it's uh, technical or just more uh, price points, uh, procedures, how, how this all comes together. Uh, so on that note, I'm, I'm gonna pass the, uh, pass the puck to Benoit and, uh, and enjoy, uh, enjoy the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, James. Uh, as a fellow hockey uh, player, passing the puck is what we do best. All right. So uh, my name is Benoit Bilodeau. For those who don't know me, I've been working at Solid Expert for the last, uh, well, since 2006, to be uh, exact, uh, working mostly with PDM since I'm working at PDM. Been working with SolidWorks as a designer uh, at least over 10 years before I started working as a PDM uh, implementation, implementation uh, specialist. And uh, of course, the portfolio of products is growing. And today, the presentation will cover manage. And uh, manage is not always easy to describe. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, um, what I, I decided to do was to talk about life cycle. So we'll look at the theory a bit of a life cycle. I won't want, I won't, will not drive too, uh, too deep in what a, a life cycle is. Just cover the basics of what a life cycle for a product or a project can be. And from then, once we've done that, I'll cover what Manage can do, uh, describe what Manage does, and try to fit it in in the third uh, section. Uh, how, how does SolidWorks Manage fit in a life cycle? And we, we will conclude our presentation uh, expecting that you you will have a better understanding of what Manage is and what Manage can do for you. All right, so. Uh, let's start right away with that. So let's talk about life cycle, the theory theory behind a life cycle. So uh, life cycle basically uh, in life cycles we had about we have five phases in the life cycle. As you can see, it's more it's more like a wheel than it, it is a, a line, a straight line. There's there's no finish line for the life cycle. You know when you go from planning then design then manufacturing then distribution or delivery, depending if it's a project or product, and then with support and services, you go back to planning. If it's to plan the next model of your product, or if it's to plan an improvement to a particular project you did for a customer, you'll obviously be turning the wheel. It's not, there's no finish line. So let's cover uh, each of these phases and look at what it involves as, as, as a work, as the work we need to do for each of these phases. So let's talk about planning to start with. Uh, planning would involve working with system engineering, but building requirement management. So let's say a, a statement of work, maybe um, some project management, some risk management, planning the resources and managing them, uh, creating tasks, following up tasks, uh, doing some document management, uh, doing some approval, uh, maybe working some approval processes or many, many other processes and as well as having access to reporting and dashboards to make sure that the planning is proper, it is well documented, et cetera, et cetera. So very quickly, we see that the planning uh, phase of the life cycle is one of the most important, in my opinion, that this is what will give uh, the, the right direction and the right vision, the product or project you 
are going to uh, to work on, right? So this would this is an example. Well, these are work uh, tasks or call them um, call them jobs that you'll need to do for the planning uh, phase of a life cycle. Then there's the design part of the life cycle where you'll need all type all kind of design and all kind of other work that you need to do. So mechanical design, electrical design, software design, as well as maybe electronic design, some simulation you'll want to do, some prototyping maybe. So you'll need some revision control, some part management will be involved. You'll need to manage bombs, and this is where the bomb will start will, will start to take shape. And the bomb is your recipe, so it's very important. It's going to be the heart of your product or your design or your project. So the bomb is very important and really starts taking shape at the design phase. But this bomb will follow you through the other uh, phases of the life cycle, as well as approval and change processes, uh, some FMEA, FMECA needed probably in document management is a key feature of a design uh, phase because you'll need you'll produce CAD uh, files you'll produce all type of documents that you need to, to manage and document management is very important at this phase PDM will be involved a lot right next uh, let's go with manufacturing uh, manufacturing phase you'll have uh, some CAM some part management to do, and you'll need to probably manage an inventory, uh, some scheduling for uh, for to, to uh, manage your resources for the building, manufacturing, the assembly, uh, supplier management as well, because you will maybe need, uh, depending on what type of business you're running, some supplier to give you uh, maybe parts that you'll order, maybe some even sometimes some consultation. Uh, BAM management will be there again, and maybe some now quality management system and inspection will be needed as well. Uh, with so some NC process for let's say a part comes in and is not confirmed, confirm, uh, com uh, you'll need to process this information to see what to do with these parts that are not uh, the conformity is no is no good for you. So training and documentation will be important as well. Uh, in, internally and maybe even externally if you want to start talking about training your customer to use your product or to be able to access your project and document management stays there as well lots of documentation always for each of these phases once you get into the distribution phase we call it, we can even call it delivery phase if it's a project uh, then you might if it's a product have a serialization you want to put a serial number on your product so you can follow up for warranty purposes after say a service so uh, this needs to be documented somewhere uh, you'll need still some bum management to be always you know like i said bum management start starts like to take its real shape at the design but it's following you through all the other phases of a life cycle document management as well always some documentations and shipping you want to manage some shipping probably there as well and at the end there, there's a support service then you need some CRM to manage your customer, uh, maybe to uh, have some case management. So uh, some thought customer can call you to open a case or a ticket or call it uh, whatever, but you need to follow up on these. Uh, maintenance and repair, very important, depending on what type of project or product you deliver. Document manager st stays there, part management as well. Uh, inventory, of course. And I didn't put in there, but BOM still is, uh, very important because for support or service, if you need to know which uh, which um, spare part you want to maybe send your customer, well, you need your bomb to know what what it is that you need to send. So still, it should be there as well. So you see, we turn the wheel, and then again, you'll go back to planning, maybe to improve your project, maybe to start from a project similar to the one you'll want to do and plan it again. You have experience with the first one, you'd like to reuse the data, right? So you want to use these data and this data right away so you have a better idea to plan the second one. Maybe you want to improve your, your product, maybe to create a new line of product. So you base yourself on the experience, but experience is good when you, you, you can maybe go uh, with it as, as, uh, as you feel it, if you will, but there's nothing that, that can come closer to real data, real hard data, and this is available somewhere. You want to drill into it and get access to it. So this is thing to think about, and then the wheel turns over again, and, on, and so on and so forth. So this is like a quick introduction to what a life cycle 
of a product or a, a, a project can look like. And I really want to talk about that because now we'll talk about manage, you know, as the product. And then we'll come back to these slides that I've just shown you and try to see how we can fit manage in there. Or how can manage help you um, uh, take uh, to, to address all these uh, all the work that you need to do through the uh, life cycle phases, right? Okay, so let's talk now about SolidWorks Manage. And SolidWorks Manage, as you can see here, can can be presented with five group five groups of uh, functionalities. Uh, we can call them modules, if you if you will. Uh, Mind you, Manage is a big database. Uh, with a lot of functions that kind of um, fit into each other, they they, uh, they cover each other. So they're not separate modules, but it's easier to explain when you you split them in modules or uh, maybe function groups. Uh, call them as you will, but it will give you an idea of how it works. Let's start about the file management. A uh, file management in Manage is basically SolidWorks PDM. Now, I don't know if you are familiar with SolidWorks PDM. If you are, I am sorry because I will cover a bit of what is SolidWorks PDM for people who might not be uh, familiar or they can and like maybe to learn a bit more about SolidWorks PDM. But uh, it shouldn't be too long, and then we'll go on with the other uh, other modules, if you will. So file management is is still SolidWorks PDM for Manage. It's the vault. It's the, the basics, the, 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 the anchor of what manage will be, because then from this information, we can create more and access more information and build on it, right? So what with SolidWorks PDM, what is the main, in my opinion, the main, uh, the, the main quality or dif differentiator that we have with SolidWorks PDM is its tight integration to Microsoft Windows. Um, I've, I haven't seen other... PDM being integrated that way um, in all these years. Other PDMs exist, but very often web web interface, type of Java interface, or uh, maybe more modern now that we have HTML5, but still it's pretty much web-based. Very rarely it is, it is integrated as this one that you see right now uh, in Windows Explorer, where you can have access to a preview uh, of your uh, assembly here. And then you can click on any other tab, have access to the data card, where here uh, the data card manages uh, a, the properties of the files. So you can use all these properties and create a build of materials with the, with the column being linked to these properties. And the build material is built on the reference referencing system in PDM, giving, giving you some previews, little previews as well. Um, and then you can, you know, the same way going to content. Uh, content uh, tab where you see uh, the reference so all the parts are being used in that assembly in another way instead of the materials but then and the other way around if you click on the part and component then you'll access a where used and at this point you'll know exactly uh, which assembly is using the part that you might maybe intend to change and do a revision on so this is information that's key to decision taking so this is something that's already been included with PDM for many years, but the integration here in Windows is, is uh, the best I've seen. It is in Windows Explorer. No need to learn uh, a new interface. It's the learning curve is, is really, really steep. It's very easy to learn um, PDM in Windows. Um, also, its integration to SolidWorks is on parallel. I mean, it is the editor of SolidWorks that creates SolidWorks PDM. So obviously they know how to integrate their a PDM straight into SolidWorks. So at the right, you see the integrations right there. As soon as I click in the assembly on the part, it will be uh, underlined. It will be underlined, uh, highlighted in uh, the, the PDM client. And by clicking on the properties, then you will see the properties of the part, even if it's the assembly that is open in SolidWorks and all the configurations are available as well. So this is a tight integration of PDM straight into SolidWorks. You can even decide to navigate through the workflow and approve a document straight from SolidWorks application. Though so you can approve a document, put some comment straight into the, the window here, good work, and then approve that document straight into PDM, even if you're working with SolidWorks. 
straight inside. So here the part is being approved and all this is done straight within SOLIDWORKS, no need to, to get out of SOLIDWORKS, do something, get in SOLIDWORKS. Actually, when you're working with PDM, uh, it is uh, it, it won't be it will be working with within SolidWorks and if you try to do all these operations outside SolidWorks, it will tell you not to do it there. To go back to SolidWorks, so it's really making sure that SolidWorks and PDM are very well connected. So the integration is perfect. And again, it, uh, the other integration that we have with SolidWorks PDM is into Microsoft Office. Whether you use Word or Excel, you'll have access to a, a, a toolbar within the Office application you are using and we'll be able to check out the file, get versions, show the data card, change the state, all the other um, actions that you would be doing in SOLIDWORKS are available in Word as well or Excel as well. So this is like, this is so well integrated that you don't need again to go back and forth between two applications. You do everything straight from your Office document in Microsoft Office. So again, as a quick refresher, file previews, data card, bumps, content, where you use workflows, and so on and so forth. This is what a PDM does. The PDM that we offer you is the basic, this is the file document, is the file manager in manage. And of course, it is the best PDM for SolidWorks right there. There are no better PDM that you can use for SolidWorks than SolidWorks PDM. And it is going to be the anchor of manage for the file documentation. So what does it bring? What does file management uh, is, what does manage brings more to file management? Well, you see it's integration again, integration, integration, integration. You see straight in the, the, the Explorer window, uh, you have access to your vault and you, there's another tab available called SolidWorks Manage. You're accessing all kinds of functions that would apply to this particular file that is highlighted in PDM. And the other way around is the same. So in the, in, in the manage interface, you'll access files in your vault. And again, have the preview access information available in manage applied to this part. So it's so well integrated that it's, it is as if it was the same software. Basically, we connect seamlessly between PDM and manage. So you have access to all of these files within manage. Let's move on now to project management. SolidWorks Manage allows you to manage projects as you would do with any, let's say, uh, Microsoft project. So Gantt chart to organize your stuff, create the, all the stages when they're starting, when they're finishing. You have an audit trail to make sure that everything that's been modified to the project is there. Uh, you'll see also all the to-do, the list of to-do to tasks that you'll be able to also assign to resources. You'll be able to follow up if these resources are very busy. It will help you schedule delivery, not on a feeling, or if that, but on real, real data. You'll have access to a task board as well. Instead of gluing some post-it somewhere in the boardroom, you'll have it you know, right there, uh, visible for everyone. Access to other uh, documents like a bill of material that will should be applied to the project will be available right there. Uh, the deliverables, the issues that you might get are documented as well. And the risk management tab will give you a heads up on any risk that would be uh, there with the value uh, and help evaluate what you're facing and address all these uh, issues that you'll get. So this would be a quick view of the project management module, if you win, if you will, in SOLIDWORKS Manage. Um, then you got some process management available in SOLIDWORKS Manage as well. The processes are something that you might already have in a company. They might not be formal. They might not be on a piece of paper. Or maybe they are, but that's all where they are. There's a nice little uh, diagram that you created for process management. You try to follow it up but you have no tool to do so. With Manage, you'll be able to create these, um, these processes and follow them, follow them up straight into the Manage interface. So you can create as many processes as you want. You can create, let's say, a, a process for a new product introduction. It's like a template, right? You just start that template. You make sure that all the data you need is 
there in the properties. You can create a discussion on the project, talk about it, so it is documented. Put some attachment that come from the vault or from outside, depending on your needs. Um, apply some tasks to make sure that you'll do what needs to be done. Uh, and you'll have some information about the requirements and so on. And the history is right there. And in the history of the project, you see the chart. So the, the diagram is right there. It is available for everyone to look at. And notice that on that diagram, the square, the middle pre-production is uh, orange with three dots. It means this is where you're at at the moment. This is where the project is at. You'll see there's a little uh, cross, little check boxes or little checks here at the other means that the gate have been gone through. These little uh, stages have been gone through. So this is where you are now and you can cross other gates. So with this, you're, you, you're able to follow the process of this, uh, this new product in production. You can create as many processes as you want, uh, all kinds of document that you like. Maybe let's say uh, an ECO process to make sure that you follow up an engineering change order. Um, so this will be all um, managed right within the process management in SolidWorks Manage. Also in Manage, you'll be able to manage record, records. So records are basically data on which you don't have any document basically necessarily to attach. Um, I like to use it as a complement uh, to PDM. So in PDM, you will create assemblies in SolidWorks. They will, uh, the other structure, the referencing structure will create a BOM automatically that will be transferred in uh, Manage. But from there, maybe you want to add some parts that won't be drawn or created or designed or are in PDM, right? So in Manage, you can create uh, all this information uh, as data entry. So for instance, this uh, electrical plug is sold at Mauser with this uh, internal number, maybe an external number you want, you have supplier part number that you can see here. And from there, you can have access to all this information and you can add this to your Manage bump create variants, imagine this electric cord, you might want to have some for U European Union, some from uh, North America. You can create BOM variants with that because this information becomes available as a record in SolidWorks Manage. And the BOMs will be uh, a mix of real documents that you have in PDM and the records that you'll add in, consumable as well, oil, glue, name it, you can create and manage them in, as a record in SolidWorks Manage. The last module, and not the least, talks about dashboard and reports. So dashboards uh, are very popular at the moment. Everyone's, everyone wants a dashboard, and we can understand the value of a dashboard. It helps you to have real data, uh, quick, easy, in, uh, an easy to understand uh, format with charts, with tables, and the, the, the dashboards in Manage are uh, dynamic. So if you click on certain uh, filters, you'll get different results that will pinpoint the information you're looking for, depending on what you're looking for. And these dashboards are customizable. You create your own dashboards based on your needs, and you can have, create as many dashboards as you want. This one was created for uh, follow-up to PDM workflows, where you can see how many files are approved, how many are in the, in the states of uh, de development. Uh, so you can look at all this information very quickly and give, it gives you an idea of where you're at in your company. Here we look at the project dashboards. So all these projects that are followed up, which user are responsible for tasks or uh, projects basically. And with the color, uh, again, it's dynamic. If you click on the pie chart, other stuff gets updated based on what you select, you can clear the filter and it comes back as uh, the dashboard you had at the beginning. All the information is there. So you are going to decide based on real data, not on a feeling or uh, on the, what people are saying that morning, the first emergency that come in the morning will bring you somewhere. No, if there's an emergency, but you look at your dashboards and other events become more important, then you can take the proper decision with the proper data in your 
in front of your eyes. Same thing with the reports. So what are reports? Simply a way, a human readable way of showing data. And you can create as many reports as you want. It is a very powerful tool uh, to um, where, where you can create all kinds of reports. Uh, if we look at the reports we have here for ECO, ECO is available in Manage, you can follow it up, but for the human being, maybe that needs something written in paper or a PDF even, but it's easier to understand. So we create a report, you run it, and there you have something you can show someone, even put in a binder if you need someone in the shop to follow up, something that's tangible. It's, you know, so data is very interesting, but when it's not understandable or tangible by human beings, sometimes it gets lost. So uh, the reports will help you get something more, um, uh, something more tangible for these people. Same thing for a preview of an NPI report. So um, same thing, you have something here that will give you information on that new product in production. You can, when just before a meeting, for instance, you can create a report and just print it out and give it to people. Same thing here with reports for the bombs. A bomb, you need a report, you want to put it on paper. And even this could be dynamic. Here you see you have three variants, Canadian, Europe, and United States. You can just decide at this point, you want to see the Canadian version, you submit it, and then you get this bomb that was the variant that was created only for Canada in that case. So here, again, a powerful report application. Uh, you can create reports for multiple reasons, uh, but it will give you something where you can share information even with people outside your organization, uh, something that's readable and easier to understand. All right, so these were the five modules or um, uh, action groups or uh, uh, that you have with, with, uh, with Manage. Now, what can we do in the life cycle with that, with file management, project management, process management, records management, dashboard and reports? There's management everywhere. Now you know why it's called SolidWorks Manage, right? So let's uh, go back to the life cycle slides that I've shown you previously and see if what I've just shown you very quickly, it's a very, very quick preview of Manage, how can we answer or how can we help with manage with all the tasks and jobs that you have to do through a life cycle, right? So here, every time I see a smiling, green smiling face, it's because we know that manage can easily answer and take the tasks of a requirement management, project management, risk management, resources, tasks. This is all project management related options or functions. Document management, obviously, with PDM, approval processes with the processes, uh, reporting dashboards I've shown you. So planning, which I said is the most important part. Well, even the most, design is very important as well. But one of the, this is the cornerstone. This is where you start with planning. Well, manage can help you right there to take on these tasks. In the design part of it, well, mechanical, electrical, and the simulation. This is SolidWorks portfolio product that you've, you've known for many years. Uh, we've got nothing for software development yet. Uh, doesn't mean nothing will come up. I'm not telling you anything that I know anything that you don't. Uh, I have no idea, basically. But we never know with that. So we can get maybe a product one day. It would be something else to, to present you. But no, I've got nothing new to tell you about that today. And anyways, many software development tools are very popular today. I don't think we could take on the task just in a, in a click of, of, a, of a mouse and become better than one that's on the market today. But for the rest though, I mean, everything else that you see here, manage or the SolidWorks portfolio, whether it's mechanical or electrical, uh, will be able to help you right there. Revision control, part management, bomb management, approval change process, FMEA, document management. This is, these are all tasks that we can easily, easily um, uh, attend to with manage or other software like SolidWorks or SolidWorks Electrical. So this is no, not even a question, very, very, very. Um, so the, the, the planning, the design part of a, a life cycle manage, no problem, will be able to give you lots of help uh, 
to manage all these little details. Now, actually, we're going to manufacturing now. It is not the same thing. You see here uh, the, the green ones, you know, the, very confident. Yellow or orange, the way you see it, not so sure. You know, maybe you have an MRP, an ERP in place that could do the job better than, uh, than what we can do with manage. And that would be perfectly fine with us, right? Uh, inspection, we have some of the works inspection that's interesting, but we know that some of our customers already have other uh, systems on place for inspection. So, uh, you know, we, we know that with, with our products we can help, but we're not going to, to, uh, to, to put some wedge in there. You know, we know that you might have something better as to time management, maybe you have a CRM, maybe again, you have an ERP or an MRP, and maybe you should use that if it's more uh, accurate for you or maybe widely used within your company. Uh, if we go then to distribution or, uh, or uh, delivery, well, in there, bump management, document management, of course, it makes sense. But serialization, if you already have an MRP, ERP, maybe that should take care of it. Shipping, well, shipping, of course, you could create a uh, process and manage to follow up shipping, but you probably have other solution. Uh, maybe uh, you have a, a supplier that will give you some good, some good uh, service for shipping. And at the end for support and service, well, uh, the case management, we do have one in manage, so we could use that one if you don't have any document management, part management as well. But as far as maintenance, repair, and inventory, probably better to use your MRP or RP at this place. Customer management, you maybe have a CRM already. If you don't, manage can become in CRM. There's a nice part of it that can become in a CRM. So it's up to you to decide if you want to use manage as a CRM or something else. Maybe your ERP already has one, maybe your financial software already has one, right? So you can maybe use that as well. So that covers where Manage can help you. And I believe Manage can help you a lot in all these life cycle phases. I, I, I believe that um, it's, a, it's a very nice tool where you could use and, and leverage the power of Manage straight into your uh, straight into your uh, life cycle, your product life cycle, or your project life cycle. So here, you know, we call it advanced data management. So meaning that PDM is data management, service management is advanced, but it is not, you know, it's only one word that we add, advanced. What is advanced? It's more than just advanced. It is it is not a PLM. I want to be clear on that. Um, a PLM will, uh, is a suite of software that will give you so much more will take care of your financial reports, will take care of your HR, accounting. Uh, this manage can do, obviously. We're, we're pretty much niche in the design process, the project process, and to follow up and try to ease the transition between basically um, the CAD and your ERP and MRP. Because very often, you, if you only use PDM, it's already a start between SolidWorks and your ERP and an RP, PDM is a nice little step, but is it, it is not enough. You want maybe to have some more information. You want maybe to, well, you obviously want to manage BOM in a better way than only with PDM. You probably want to have access to dashboards and reports, which you don't have access with PDM. You, and you, you're, you, you'll you want to use a project management tool to be able to really, really plan ahead uh, which you don't have again with PDM, right? So all these together, we believe, makes a nice sweet spot layer between the SolidWorks and an ERP MRP solution uh, if you already use one. And if not, it's a nice start if you use SolidWorks Manage to prepare yourself to eventually transfer all the information available in Manage to an ERP and MRP application. Well, that that pretty much covers it. I was about targeting half an hour. So that's pretty much 30 minutes here that we've had. So um, James, are you back? I'm right here. All right. <laughs> so uh, now I'm looking here. Uh, so I guess our, our, our audience, uh, it's a pretty straightforward presentation. There was, uh, there was no, uh, no questions on, uh, no questions here on our end. So uh, the reality is, um, if the audience, if you guys are 
are tuning in and you you want in the future you want uh, more information on SolidWorks uh, Manage you can always uh, contact your account manager uh, schedule a uh, presentation uh, with them that might be a little bit more personalized for your uh, environment because I, I guess today was more of an introduction to this solution to kind of showcase that SolidWorks has a solution like this that's part of its ecosystem and portfolio and that it's available uh, uh, to companies to uh, implement. So uh, now uh, with a more personalized presentation, I guess we, we with that you could get a little bit more uh, dialogue and probably get a little bit more in depth in terms of your uh, your infrastructure and your company to understand uh, what kind of what kind of commitment uh, that it would take on, on your end to, to to implement this type of solution? So uh, each each company and their ecosystem and how they work is is always case by case. So uh, that's why I guess with uh, if you're looking for for additional information, uh, we can always have a little bit more of a personal dialogue to uh, identify whether uh, SolidWorks Manage will meet the, the demands of uh, of your business. So. Uh, on that note, I, uh, we appreciate you attending uh, this afternoon and uh, looking at our, our webinar today. And, uh, and if you have further questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you.